Each one of you has something in your heart, right? Each one of you brought something here. If you are here today, it's because Allah has invited you. So now ask for that person who's giving. Look at that tradition and see. A monk comes in to Masjid al-Nabawi. The Prophet of God is sitting there. But the monk says, You are meant to be the Prophet of Akhir zaman end of time. He says, I'm a Christian. I've heard you give people. He says, yes. He says, I don't have any children. You've all heard that story. He says, give me children. He says, it's not within your nasib. He says, but I've heard that you have power, give me children. He says, why don't you go and ask that four-year-old boy standing in the corner. If he gives it to you, he gives it to you. Monk, knowing the reality, goes up to this four-year-old child. With all of the haber of imama, he stands up, four-year-old child. He says, what do you want? He says, I want a son. He replies, he says, I've given you one son. He looks at him again, he says, I've given you two sons. He looks at him again and says, I've given you three sons. He looks again, four, five, six, seven. A voice comes from the back, he says, you've come to say you're the shuhada. If you don't leave, he's not going to stop. You better leave yourself and go. Imagine now when you go to the Zari or Sayyid al-Shahada when you stand there, no one think that's the person who gives. He doesn't turn his back away to anyone. When you are standing there, know that his bounties don't stop. First, AH comes along. Brotherhood is made. What happens? Second AH. Second AH you find the wedding. What wedding? Amir al-Mu'mineen with Hazrat al-Zahra. Wedding takes place. Third AH, Imam Hassan alayhi salam comes into the world. Six months later, according to the tradition, six months and ten days later, some people say a couple of months after, then six months was the pregnancy. But nevertheless, in fourth age, after being pregnant for six months, you find in that tradition it says that in the fourth age, the day is today, the day is a Thursday, the month is this month, Sha'ban. Six months later, a baby comes into the world. They say in tradition that only two other babies were like this. One of them was Yahya, John the Baptist. Six months later, a baby comes into the world. And that baby is Imam Hussain alayhi The Prophet of God then takes this baby after it's been wrapped around in white cloth. In the tradition it says that Imam Hussain alayhi is not suckling from anyone. He's not taking milk from anyone. At this moment, the Prophet of God offers his tongue. And in the tradition it says, 40 days Imam Hussein sucks from the tongue of the Prophet and the nutrition that's felt is from the tongue of the Prophet. Those spiritual vibes are being given to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. And Imam Hussein for 40 days suckles from that. That is Sayyid al-Shuhada. As he begins to grow, and you find this within tradition, as he begins to grow, the Prophet of God gives him respect. And look at that tradition that says that one day the Prophet is sitting on the member. As as he's sitting on the member, Imam Hussein walks in. What does the Prophet of God do? He stops everything. He goes, he picks up this child and brings him on the member. In the same way you have that other tradition that says that the Prophet of God is in sajda. And as he's in sajda, what do you find? Imam Hussein comes, sits on his back. Seventy times he recites the dhikr. And then after that he gets up. That's Imam Hussein. In another tradition it says, and again this tradition goes back to Sheikh Saduq, and again this tradition is Sahih. It says in this tradition, one day the Prophet of God is standing there, and as he stands there, he says, Allahu Akbar. A child comes running, a child stands there. The child also says, Allahu Akbar. But the child is only four years old, three years old. He can't say it properly. He stammers. Again the Prophet recites. And again this child says, and again the same difficulty happens. Six times on the seventh time he says, Allahu Akbar, the child then says it properly. Jibreel comes down. He says, those six takbirs before have become sunnah, have become mustahab for everyone that before they pray, six times they do takbir, and then the seventh one then they enter into the prayers. That's Sayyid al-Shuhada. Why? Because the hujab are seven. Because the bales are seven. In the same way we have a tradition that says that if you're to prostrate on that turba of Karbala, it says that it breaks seven layers of the hijabs because the veils are seven. It breaks seven of those layers. At the beginning of the prayers, you start off with the sunnah of Sayyid al-Shuhada. And when you go into the sajda, you go into the sunnah of Sayyid al-Shuhada. That's the reality of this Imam alayhi salam. Thank you.
So in this way, what you find is that Sayyid the Shahid had three qualities about him and then inshallah we'll move on. One hadith fascinated me. Last night I was reading this, it's unbelievable. Who's older, Imam Hassan or Imam Hussain? Imam Hassan, right? In the tradition it says that one day Imam Hassan is sitting there and as Imam Hussain alayhi salam walks in, it says that his entire, Imam Hassan's entire state changes and he stands up as if Imam Hussain was older. And he takes him and he brings him and he sits him down and he sits down again. And the way that he sits down is as if Imam Hussain is older. So somebody asks him, they say to him, aren't you the older brother? Why is there so much respect that you have for this brother of yours? He's six months younger than you or six and a half months younger than you. And at the same time, you are the Imam of the time. What is it about this Hussein that makes you respect him so much? You know what he replies? He says that the Haiba of my father Ali ibn Abi Talib is found within this brother of mine. Imam Hassan as Ma'asum Imam is saying that I stand up out of the Haiba of Imam Hussain because he reflects the Haber of my father Ali ibn Abi Talib That's the power of Imam Hussain. Second thing, look at it the way that it is. Somebody comes up to the Imam again, fourth Imam alayhi salam, and he says, he says that, and Ba'ini, he look at it like a middle mu'mineen. He says that when your father fell onto the ground and after his entire body was covered with cuts and bruises and arrows and blood, says that on the back of his Shoulders, there was a mark there. That mark was the same mark as Ali. He says, what is this mark? What is it? He says that my father at night time when everybody used to sleep, used to carry bags, sacks, and used to go all over to widowers, to orphans, and used to distribute this. What is tonight then? Tonight is that night where you ask from Imam Hussein. If Imam Hussein in this world carries this for the sake of those people who need it, are we not all needy? Are we not all fuqara, billah, in front of Allah? Are we not slaves? Are we not poor people? Or oh, each one of us are. Tonight, ask Allah for the sake of Imam Hussain.